Good evening. My name is Dave Rosenstein. I'm a member of Community Board 8, and I welcome you to CB8 Speaks. Uh, Community Board 8 covers uh, the Upper East Side and Roosevelt Island. It's a city agency that, uh, whose members are public officials appointed by the borough president. We serve without pay for two-year terms. Each community board has 50 members, as set by the city charter. This year, our board has 11 new members, an unusually high turnover. Tonight, we will visit with three of those new members. Daniel Dernbaum, welcome. Thank you. Uh, Dan is a remarkable young man. Uh, he's a student at Baruch College's uh, School of Public Affairs, where he's active in student government. Last year, he was an intern on the city council, developing databases for council members, committee me council committees, and doing policy research. He worked as a on Assembly Member Rebecca Seawright's 2014 campaign. Uh, Dan has also been very active in various programs at Central Synagogue. That's on 55th and Lexington? Lexington Avenue. Um, including a summer in Belarus as a summer camp assistant counselor. Yes, sir. Uh, Dan, welcome. Um, you're in your third year at Baruch, correct? Uh, I see from your resume you've had an interest in government and public affairs for a long time. What's the backstory on that? The first time I ran for office was sixth grade. Um, I ran for my student council, um, and I guess you can say since then. Um, but I've I've always been involved in student government, and in college that kind of led through my work with the undergraduate student government at Baruch. It kind of filtered into local government, and basically the the first project that um, that I worked on involving city agencies and um, and actually community boards was the 25th Street Plaza. That was when I first was introduced to community boards and to local officials and um, so we, we had to go before CB6 um, and to present the designs and we worked in conjunction with them. Interesting. Um, so that's, that's a closed street now. Yes. And so it knits the campus together. And, uh, exactly. Our library building um, is on the north side and our, our vertical campus is on the south side. It's actually, it's a temporary plaza now, but the, the final design of the permanent plaza is, uh, is complete. So hopefully within the next few years, um, the construction will be all done and uh, we can have our permanent plaza. But that's where I was really introduced mm -hmm. to community boards and, and uh, city agencies and local government. We've got a similar project in our community board, so at some point uh, I'd like to, to learn more about that experience from you. Uh, internships in government at any level are a great uh, opportunity to learn about possible careers, what it's like. Um, how did you learn about the city council internship? So it was, it was actually, it's a class taught by a former council member um, and half of the class you're in the classroom learning about you know the city government mm -hmm. and your local officials and how the council operates um, and then the second half of the class is uh, you being placed in either a council member's district office, um, their legislative office, or working for um, the legislative division of the council, like myself. Um, and so it's a, it's a great exposure into, um, into local government. You get to see how everything kind of works and, and operates. And in the spring, that's the budget season for the council. Um, so you see the entire craziness uh, of the budget season and how council members interact with each other and with the mayor um, and the speaker all in a very short amount of time. Um, but it, it's great. So you get to see how sausage is made. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, when you applied for appointment to the community board, how did you explain your interest in public service? Uh, uh, were there particular issues or interests that you highlighted in your application that got the attention of the borough president's office? Well, I, I don't know, um, but I, I, I talked a lot about um, my, my interest in local government and stemming from back when I ran in sixth grade. Um, and I, I also talked about you know, the, the issues that I most care about. I commute to school by bike, and so transportation um, is a huge concern of mine, especially in our district, as, you know, as the Second Avenue subway is hopefully being completed, um, we'll see a completely new Second Avenue. Um, and um, so talking about city infrastructure and also 
transportation alternatives is, is something very close to my heart. Um, so I definitely highlighted uh, my past experiences and also what I, what I would bring to the board. It probably tells me something about, I was going to ask uh, what committees uh, you're interested in, and I have a feeling one of them is transportation. Yes. Um, so I, I finally, I, I declared my, um, my official committees, and um, I was a part of street life over the summer. Unfortunately, due to a class conflict, I couldn't uh, attend Tuesday meetings anymore. Um, but I am a 100 committed, 100% uh, committed to the transportation co uh, committee and also parks committee. Um, great work coming out of both of those, um, and they're very interesting. A lot of public feedback, which is great. Good, makes sense. And then, of course, every board member attends the land use committee as well as the third meeting of the month, which is our full board. Yes. So it's a, it's a busy agenda right there. And then we, we're all ex officio members of any other committee that we wish to to uh, attend at a particular occasion. Right. Um, we, it depends on the week. I yeah. like to, you know, I'm still very new to the board, um, and I'm still trying to, to dabble in as many committees as I can. So mm -hmm. I, I like, I was just at the budget committee. Um, so every week I try and attend a, a different committee, see what's, what's happening. Makes um, sense. Uh, aside from government, I understand you have some, some interest in tennis, to put it mildly. You have five years as a ball boy at the U.S. Open in Flushing Meadows. Uh, it sounds like a dream job for a tennis fan. <laughs> Tell me about that. It is. Look, in eighth grade, me and a few friends went to Flushing, and we, we threw our hats in the ring, and we tried out uh, to be ball boys. And all three of us made it. Um, and, yeah, it's a, it's a whole other world to be on the court with, you know, it's got to be amazing. My my best experience there, I I got to hold the towel and, and ball boy for Serena Williams, and she's <laughs> the greatest female tennis player in my opinion of all time. Um, and yeah, like you said, it's a just it's a dream job, and um, the atmosphere is incredible. Uh, you know, thousands and thousands of people watching your every move, but it's. It's interesting to see the behind the behind the scenes of um, of such a huge tournament. Um, it's neat. It's neat. And I look for for when you're a ball boy, you you know you think of the classic ball boy, a young kid. Um, but they have tons of different uh, age groups and just different people from different backgrounds. We have we've had you know 60 year olds be ball boys and 14 year olds be ball boys. So it's a great mix of people. Um, a dream job. Well, I wish I could ask you more. Like, I'm fascinated with the idea of going to Belarus, but we don't have time. Thank you so much for coming in tonight to talk with us, and uh, uh, good luck with the community board experience. I hope it's a it's value to you, and I know you'll be helpful to the board. Thank you so Thank much. You. Not bad. Short and sweet.